more pressure on governments to stop Galamse. There are some Galamse operators in the rural areas doing demonstrations against the stopping of Galamse. Oh, Ghana! <laughs> <laughs> People who have stopped Galamse are now threatening to go out and start stealing from people. People are sharing their views. Some people are ex ex exposing police officers who come to Galamse sites to go come and take 20,000 cities as chop money to let them go and do the Galamse. A lot in this video. I have the full just for you. Remember, you can use Lem5 to send money from UK, USA or Canada to Ghana, Nigeria and other African countries. Lemfire comes with no service charges, no transaction fees, and the best exchange rates. I now go to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, download the Lemfire app, use my promo code HEADLESS, and you get $30 cash back on your first $100 transaction. Lemfire is good. Use Lemfire. Now let's get into this sad video. I'm the Headless YouTuber, there's Headless Reactions. To be very very difficult in Ghana. It's going to be very difficult because as people are pushing for Galamse to stop, others are also pushing back that you cannot stop Galamse. If you stop Galamse, what will we eat? If you stop Galamse, what will we do? People are going on strike tomorrow, 10th October 2024, against Galamse. And people are going on demonstration against the people going on strike against Galamse. Hey, Ghana! Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> If you go to Amenfi East, some of the people are doing protests today because the organized labor is scheduled to go on a strike tomorrow. So these Galamse people are going on strike today because they know that if the organized labor people go on strike tomorrow, it might put pressure on government to double down on the fight against Galamse. So now the Galamseers are doing demonstration saying that if they stop Galamse, what will they eat? Watch this video.
Now, aside these people fighting against the stopping of Galamse, there are some people too that they they stop the Galamse. Probably their, their sites have been raided. They've carried their generator and their water pumping machine and stuff to the house. Now, this guy did a video saying that now that he has brought his thing home, what will he eat? And because of that, he will go out and go and rob people, including Akufado's children and our children. We, our siblings and our family members who are fighting against Galamseno. It is we that will come and rob. <laughs> I said, I no money in a We about it, me, Maybe we are one one. Would you know it? Babby Jinum Quanswa Kunkum, why Jimus Camon and Adonam with Tiwana, with Jimmy and Mugu Galamse, Mugun, Yabere, Yabere, or Banner, maybe we are. I see a Other people in the rural areas where the Galamse are happening, and they are saying that you, the people who are demonstrating in Accra against Galamse, you people have what to eat. Now, if they, they stop the galam, say they don't have anything to eat. So forget it. The galam here, it will go on. Moi, I'm here demonstration in Nana. Moi, I'm here demonstration in Nana. Oh, Bia, oh, the old you. Oh, Bia, oh, the old you. You're here, the old you. Did them on a chin, Nana. On him so coffee or bed it. But me, I'm in Nana. Me, me, bam, be flam. I just had them on a say, young gala, young and say, young and say, yeah. Me, me. Aside this one, there's also a video exposing some police officers, Ghana police, the people that we are telling them to fight, to help us fight the Galam, say that they are arresting us because of order from above. Some of them have been allegedly going to these Galam say sites. They protect the people doing the Galam say. They go there and go and take their chop money. According to the video that was shown, the guy was hiding to take the video because he was scared. If they catch him, something might be done to him. So he was hiding. Police officers came to the site. They didn't drive their police car. They came to the site, and when they got there, they were going straight to the foreman to go and take their money. And according to the guy, the previous day, somebody came. Some police officers came to take 20,000 cities. These people, too, are going to take theirs just to protect the Galamse people. There are videos of soldiers also protecting Galamse sites, going to take their chop money from Galamse sites. Ah, Abu Safo, but I'm going to tell you, 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 I'm um <laughs> Ni pa hofo so bayo the same police for na bayo nyewe ma mo bayo on bayo ni ska mo jie e ka chi obe shock on bayo mo ji 20 million yeah 20 million mo ji ko e on no na mo no no mo na mo we mo so ma baba we mo de mi nim sika mba be ji mi nim amount on be ja ko ba fe no ma ba o ma stop o juma yo on no money, no money. Say, yeah, the young guy did what has him. Two hundred million. My budget to go. The budget is a police phone. I buy net three. My entire buy net three. I buy three hundred thousand. 
3000 oba saita wabeji to one day milling or the co or you madam for preto any any anything my sins you man no must stop here um must stop here um by two and a million mabeji or medico team was saying was a war by no busum is an utriano I went to Google and says so good as a police you know could you say two and a second or could you have a beam to get and say the massa your boy, you need to stop on a da and your juma. I'm paying for nine or one day, maybe you'll play time. I'm trying to pay for the machine. So, with all these things going on, do you think the fight against Galamse will be easy? It's not going to be easy at all. It doesn't look like it's going to be easy. Now, aside these things that I've shown you, that you've seen, these things that are, you know, hindering the fight against Galamse. There are some people that look like educated people. People that look like they are supposed to have wisdom. People that go and sit on television. And they, they say certain things. Somebody like this man called Koyopoku. He is MPP senior member. And in his bid to defend the Galamse or defend his party or def I don't know what he is defending. He is saying the protest that they are protesting in Accra. They should rather go and protest in the Galamse sites or in the Galamse areas. Meanwhile, government is in a crowd deploying people to go and do things. They are protesting against Galamse, you know, in the face of government, in the face of the people in power. But chairman is saying that we should go to the rural areas and go and do the demonstration over there. What I'm saying is that let's not sit in a crowd and demonstrate. I'm very sad to see people demonstrating Accra when the real work is being done where in the mining areas. What Let are you claiming? That they should go and demonstrate there? Th that, but, Where's but, the seat of government? But hold on. The, who but, takes but, the, hold on. the who people takes doing the rightful say, constitutional no, decisions? But the people doing that I'm saying is not government. Okay. It's, 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 okay. It, is, it, is, it is the youth in community okay. who are Can doing this. Can I ask this question? Go ahead. All these people get a chance to talk on television. To talk. <laughs> <laughs> All these people get a chance to talk on television. Now, if this is not proof that it's not every, you know, foolish young person that, that you know, changes when they grow older, then there's nothing I can tell you. There are some people that they, age does not come with wisdom. Age does not come with wisdom. You can be foolish young boy and you can grow to be a foolish old man. Age does not come with wisdom. Government, the people who can fight the thing, they are in a car. But chairman is telling us that we should go to a, you know, Praso and all the triple Praso. We should go to then the dominance and all those people. We should, we should go there and go do demonstration. Meanwhile, the person who is ordering Ghana police people that all of you come out, 10,000 police people for a, 300 demonstrators, 300 protesters. Protest about police in the But they are saying that we should go and go and demonstrate over there. <laughs> the fight against Galamse is going to be very, very hectic. But last, last, it will reach all of us because when the water bodies fall and the economy gets worse, the people who are, who are in power right now who can, you know, do something, they will fly their people out of the country and it will be left with you and I. If we get to the point where we have to buy water 35 cities before we drink because it's imported water, and we get to the point where we are people are having children and the children are being deformed, maybe that is when people like this man who is saying we should go to those places to go and protest, maybe that's when he will also go there and go and protest. <laughs> hey, Eddie, the fight against Galamse is going to be very difficult. Hey. Watch other videos on this channel. Let me know what you think about this. Aye. Yeah,